If there's a better pastime than gaming, it's gotta be next generation gaming. With Sony's Future of Gaming event set for the morning of June 4th, 2020, we hope to see new games running on the mythical console known as the PS5. In the meanwhile, we at The Gamer are gonna list all the games we know, heard, and wish will be released on the PlayStation 5. Let's have a look, shall we? <laughs> We hope to visit Enoch this holiday season in Square Enix's Outriders. The game looks to mix the hellish monsters of Doom and the gameplay of Mass Effect that looks to let us leave our humanity behind in this ill-omened bloodfest. If you wish Borderlands had swords and magic instead, Counterplay Games' Godfall is the PS5 game you should be waiting for. This RPG promises fun co-op and solo gameplay where you get to immerse yourself in the post-Thousand Year War apocalypse. Ubisoft promises to take us to gaming heaven with Assassin's Creed Valhalla, you'll get to see the 9th century like never before, as you'll be able to live out your Viking-related fantasies as you immerse yourself in the Dark Ages. We're showing the PS4's Gran Turismo Sport here, but we're praying to the speed gods that Gran Turismo 7 will be racing into our living rooms as soon as the console releases. Polyphony Digital's premier title is a major player on the market as it is a Sony exclusive, with Gran Turismo looking to have deep roots in the gaming community. Look for them to rust that out as soon as they can. Bluepoint Games will be releasing a mystery remaster. It could either be Demon Souls, Metal Gear Solid, SOCOM 2, ICO, or Siphon Filter that'll be getting that facelift. We hope to see Solid Snake back in action. How about you? Ubisoft's Watch Dogs Legion will let us spy away and build our own squad in a post-Brexit England. Watch out for this one though. Permadeath will be in effect in certain game modes, so you may have to plan funerals for your characters. We hope Santa will stuff our stocking with the Ubisoft game where the gods ask us to take out Typhoon in the Greek mythological adventure Gods and Monsters. Developer CD Projekt Red inspired us with the Keanu Reeves-driven Cyberpunk 2077. Yubi's inadvertently topically titled Rainbow Six Quarantine's teaser looks quite promising. Instead of humans, you'll be battling hyper-fast moving parasites. Techland's Dying Light 2 will let us parkour our way through the zombie apocalypse in the fight over water. This game's intensity increases as its world's sun goes down. Bethesda Game Studios' Elder Scrolls 6 should be well worth the long wait it will incur. Its other game, Deathloop, should provide an even longer wait in this Groundhog Day-inspired sci-fi thriller. Beyond Good and Evil 2 should satisfy our need to be pirates, as well as anthropomorphic furries in this sequel that's been in development for over a decade at Ubisoft. Tango's Ghostwire Tokyo will let us investigate why the city's people are vanishing. Way down the line in 2022, BioWare will bring us back to Thedas in Dragon Age 4. We hope to wield Thor's hammer in Crystal Dynamics' Avengers A-Day, and dance a strange dance in Paradox Interactive's Vampire, The Masquerade, Bloodlines 2. If Ubisoft ever releases Skull and Bones, we'd be pretty happy. If we were in Japan, we'd already be playing Sega's Yakuza Like a Dragon, but we'll wait. Drifting away in Codemasters' Dirt 5 wouldn't be a bad way to spend a Sunday afternoon either. And for the retro gamers, we hope Square Enix will be re-remaking Final Fantasy VII, again, for the next generation. It's just that good. Most of these developers have been real no-tell motel about their titles' exact release dates, but we'll all know just a little more on June 4th, 2020. What do you think about the PS5 games coming out? What rumors have you heard? Which games are you dying to play? Do you feel bad for Nintendo missing out on the console wars? Let us know down below, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more from the gamer.